All right, cool. Uh, 781, rabbits in forest. In a forest, each rabbit has some color. Some subset of rabbit, possibly all of them, tell you how many other rabbits have the same color as them. Those answers are placed in an array. Return the minimum number of rabbits that could be in the forest. Mm -hmm. For example, you have some subset of So two ends of that. So it's what? Yeah, this is some like brain teaser thing. <laughs> um, so two rapids ends of one could both be the same color, say what? Okay, so the first index. Okay, so the. So okay, so three rabbits tell you how many rabbits have the same color of them. The first rabbit said one other. Well, this is going to be like five lines of code, but a very tricky five lines of code type of question, but. Mm. Ten others, ten others, ten others, okay. Three, it's a two was blue. Five, three down the road, okay. Man. I know about this. Man, this is a tricky problem. <laughs> um, okay, I mean, I think maybe not, uh, maybe I'll start with some rules, uh, which is some of them is being hint in this example, and that's what I've been kind of looking into a little bit. Um, so if the answer is one, that means, that means, uh, well, hmm. The answer is two. I mean, I think we could. Well, first of all, we could compress all the answers together into a a, a hash table with with the number being the uh, the thing, and then I think you just do some math on that number, maybe. Yeah. Okay. Let me, let me play around with that. Let's say four, four rabbit answers. Uh, Okay, it counts, let's go to okay. so I think maybe that sounds right. It's like a really I I don't even know how to describe it to be honest. It's just such a weird problem. But like for example well for now we're just gonna keep track of um the numbers and then now for key and key these keys. Um okay. I forget there's a clean way to do this too. But it's like dot values maybe, but anyway. Um, and so now you have mm, yep. I don't even know how to describe these using keys, but um, okay. So now you say count is equal counts dot key. Um, so like this is a second ordered count. So. So now let's say if it has the same number, then it matches each other. So it's kind of some kind of matching the same number thing is what I'm trying to do here. Uh, so in this case, if the answer is one, we match two of them. And if the answer is two, then we match three numbers. So okay, so we want to match, uh, key, match key plus one. Um, okay, let's just do results. Uh, so results is you could uh, count for key plus one. Well, okay. Well, let's name this for a little bit. 
number of pairs. So oh, it's not even pairs, but number of number of same color rabbits. Oh, man, that's a terrible name now. Okay, let's just go ahead number. Um, so that's the number of pairs plus one. No, really. Hmm. We want the ceiling of this, which is this, I think. Uh, okay. So that if it's one, then if it is two, then it only returns one. If it's three, returns two. I guess that's fine. Uh, so it's it's like a sort of a greedy type thing. Um, and then results is you go, uh, you go to number times key plus one okay something like that maybe Let's see if it works first okay all right yep yolo submit okay cool wow that actually worked um I mean, this is a brain teaser one, so I don't know. I mean, it's one of those things where, like, I feel like if you give me the same problem tomorrow, I might not get it right. Or, like, it may take me, like, a long time to get it right. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. Um, the idea here is that uh, if there's one other rabbit color uh, for each number that's an answer, uh, you match them with that number plus one. So, like, for example, well, one, you want to get only two possible people with or two possible rabbits the same color then they both will answer one uh and if it's two that means the two other rabbits so th there are possibly three rabbits that are uh, uh, the same uh or for each pairing so if it's more than three then like if you have an answer that's like i don't know five ones then you have three pairs and so forth um and then you just round it up and i think that extends to whatever the number is so like here, uh, if we had say twelve tens, then uh, then it would have been twenty two, I guess, or something like that, uh, or twenty maybe, twenty two, yeah, twenty two. Um, but, but yeah, so that's kind of the idea. I don't know. How, yeah, the problem with these brain teasers, like I said, is that I don't know if it's I could solve these deterministically in a in a in um in the same way. Like I think, you know, sometimes I get lucky. I'm like, oh yeah, that that's clearly the way to do it. And then some days I'm just not having a good day and I cannot fall back on my fundamentals and, and be like, okay, this is, you know, <laughs> um, and in this particular case, it, it's way uh, specific. So I, I don't know. It's a little brain teaser. I don't know if you could practice this, uh, this particular problem other than if someone gives you something exactly the same. Uh, so I don't know how much value I would place on this problem. Though it is a fun brain teaser. It's a fun problem. Uh, not a program problem, not a CS problem, but uh, necessarily anyway it's a logic problem uh, but yeah I mean I guess it's fun uh, the code I I mean it's 12 lines of code uh, with a lot of spaces so I don't think I could improve that much more maybe I mean eh, maybe I could n name these variables better but I was having trouble kind of figure out the problem myself but okay cool uh, but this is basically just rounding up in a weird way for each number hmm. okay cool uh yeah let me know if y'all want to 